Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme, where we take a look at the meaning and the origin of your favorite memes. Today we have a look at Ken Bone. Lately, I've been noticing that Ken Bone is a highly searched term across the Internet. And when I saw a handful of comments in my comment section suggesting a video on him, I knew I wasn't the only one confused. Who exactly is Ken Bone? Well, Ken Bone is this guy. The world was first exposed to Ken Bone on October 9th, 2016, during the second presidential debate that took place at the University of St. Louis. The format of the debate was a town hall debate, which meant undecided voters from the audience had an opportunity to ask both candidates a question. Ken Bone happened to be one of those people. Let's have a look at what Ken had to say. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs, while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers. Immediately following Ken's appearance, social media, particularly Twitter, erupted with memes and various jokes featuring Ken. Various news outlets started to write articles that covered the topic of Ken and his sudden internet fame, many of which suggested that his popularity was due to his red sweater, glasses, and gentle personality, while others said that it was due to his overall appearance and suggestive last name. You know, bone, like sex penis, vagina. Whatever the reason was, Ken was popular. He appeared in numerous tweets that portrayed Ken in a positive way. In the days following the debate, more information came out about Ken that only fueled his popularity. Videos surfaced that showed Ken using a disposable camera at the debate. Disposable cameras are typically viewed as relics from the past. Digital cameras have basically made them obsolete. At least in our world, in Ken's, it's a different story. Ken also made it known in interviews that his now popular red sweater was his backup outfit. His first choice of outfit was an olive suit, but he had to change his choice to the red sweater when he was getting into his car and ripped the pants. But apparently I've gained about 30 pounds, and when I went to get in my car the morning of the debate, I split the seat of my pants all the way open. Uh, so the red sweater is plan B. I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> These two occurrences only added to the strange fascination America had with Ken. The fascination with Ken was so strong that he even made an appearance on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. His likeness was even used in a skit on Saturday Night Live. Y'all ready for this? His popularity has been so massive that his red sweater and overall appearance has even gotten the sexy Halloween costume treatment, with the sexy Ken Bone Halloween costume being priced at $100. And believe it or not, it sold out in one day. So it's safe to say America loved Ken. But like most things, sometimes their popularity also causes backlash. And Ken's backlash came on October 13th when he participated in a Reddit Ask Me Anything. During the AMA, he answered questions that people had been wondering since they saw him on the debate. This prompted some people to look at the post history of the account that he had been using for years. They uncovered that Ken had some questionable opinions on the death of Trayvon Martin, and he also left posts where he admitted to viewing the naked leaked photos of actress Jennifer Lawrence. This information has caused some people to distance themselves from the Ken Bone meme. When you think about why Ken Bone became so popular, it's easy to see. He seemed different than most people. He was strange, but in a good way. Kinda like when things are so bad they become good. For some reason, people's first impression of Ken was that he was wholesome, sweet, a breath of fresh air. But when people realized he was just like every other human and had his flaws, the illusion they built up in their head was shattered. But regardless of who Ken is as a person, his image was able to add a little fun into this year's unfortunate election. But hey, that's the internet for you, and on the internet, memes are king. Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes. Who knows, you may learn about a meme you never knew about before. I'll catch you guys next time. Now wait, Ken, you're not gonna turn out to be a weird little creep or anything, are you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe.